Salmon in the air fryer, let's do it. Make sure you pat your salmon dry with a paper towel. I already did that, so now I'm starting with some avocado oil. Ginger spice, which is like blackening seasoning that's not in the stores. It should be though. You're going to cover it with that. You're going to cover it with that like your life depends on it. Onion powder. Ooh, that was a little more than I wanted, but it's fine. The more seasonings, the merrier. Garlic powder, salt, pepper. Now I probably could have just seasoned it on this pan, but it's fine. I'm also making these like bacon wrapped scallops that I found at Aldi and I'm going to put them on the other side of the pan because ooh, 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 ooh. that's what they look like. Move over, we need more room. This is what it's looking like. Now I'm gonna put it in the air fryer at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes. I learned my lesson to open it before I get here and then I don't need multiple hands. And did I wash my air fryer from earlier? No, do I care? No. I forgot to say, I'm also going to make some asparagus, so let's make that. This is frozen asparagus. I'm throwing in some butter, a lot of minced garlic, and some salt and pepper. Now I'm just gonna put a lid on that and let that cook for a little bit while the salmon's cooking. Everything is looking really good. Look at all that garlic. Mm. Look at how delicious that salmon looks. And these are the scallops. Now let's try it. Final plate, I got my asparagus, bacon wrapped shrimp, and my salmon, and I put some ranch on it. Cheers. Salmon in the air fryer is so good. Now let's try a bacon wrapped scallop. Delicious. 